Okay, today we're going to talk about how to use XSL transformation and outbound messages from your Maximo system. Uh, Maximo uses a standard XML format to publish outbound messages. Uh, however, most systems that receive these messages won't be able to read Maximo's format. They, they typically have their own proprietary format. A program typically needs to be placed in the middle of these two systems to make that bridge between the two systems. Uh, XSLT can be that bridge between the two systems, and Maximo provides a simple mechanism for transforming its outbound messages to fit others, another system's needs via XSLT. So uh, I want to start with an example. Um, really quickly, I've established a published channel called XSLT Woe. And all that published channel is going to do is it's going to send outbound XML system to um, the file system on our server. Um, if we look at the XML here for this message, you can see we have an XSLT set, a work order, and then uh, a handful of fields that are going outbound in that message. So if we take a really simple example, we're going to go to the work order tracking application, pull up work order 1237, and we're going to change the description. Uh, on save, this will trigger an event listener, which will perform the publication of the message to the file system. I'm going to jump over here to the file system. You can see here that my message is already there. If I open it up, give a little formatting to the message, you can see you know, we've got that test of SS XSLT integration demo. I added the demo to the string of the description, and it came out with these other fields. So this is Maximo's proprietary format for the message. Again, most other systems will have their own format of the message uh, that they'll need to consume into their own system. So we can use XSL to transform this message into the format that we need it. So I have here a sample XSL document. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's going to take the, the work order uh, that you see here, uh, and transform that into something that looks like you know, external database, message data, transaction. It's going to give a, a description, which is actually going to have both a, a long and a short description, uh, capped at 30 characters for the long description and capped at 10 characters for the short description. It's going to have a product tag that is the third component of the GL um, and some other fields here, customer instead of work order number, location instead of site ID. Um, so our, uh, our ultimately our message will look uh, a little bit different, but contain uh, the data that's in that outbound message from Maximo. So how do we use this XSL file? Uh, what we need to do is drop it on the file system in your Maximo home directory. So if we go to C IBM Maximo, then go to Applications Maximo business objects. If you go in the classes directory, um, I typically like to go into the PSDI iFace app and then, you know, based on the fact that this is a work order based published channel, go into the Woe application and drop my XSL file in there. Now, when you build your ear file and deploy to WebSphere, this XSL file will be part of the Maximo application and can be referenced from Maximo. And we'll, we'll show how to do that. Okay, so back in Maximo, we're going to go back to our publish channel. Only this time, instead of using the standard Maximo formatted message. We're going to add our XSL map to this published channel. The way we reference that is psdi.iface.app.woe.xsltwoe. Now, what you're going to see here is psdi is that first folder underneath 
the business objects classes directory. So we're basically following a directory path, but instead of using slashes to separate the folders, we're using dots. So we're saying psei.iface.app.wo, and then we're saying xslt.wo, which is the name of the file, but without the file extension. So we're not putting the .xsl at the end of this. Um, all of this is very important to follow, as well as this is case sensitive. So if the file name is xslt.wo in all caps, you need to match that, that case sensitivity here in your file. Okay, so we'll save this. Now when we go back to our work order, 37 pull it up uh, if I take the word demo back out of the description and save it that should generate another message only this time it should pass through that XSL map and come out with our external database, message data, transaction, et cetera, as we specified here in the XSL map. Pretty cool uh, and pretty powerful. Now, we're using XML file-based outbound messages here, but this logic would take place whether you're using uh, web services, HTTP calls, even some of the flat structures um, can, can use this XSL transformation. So very powerful stuff. I encourage you to use it. And that's it for now. Thanks.